Welcome back to and this guide. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create an organization or chart in Lucid Chart. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Lucid Chart, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow with the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Creating an organizational chart in Lucid Chart offers several benefits for you, particularly for managing and visualizing theme structures. Because org charts provide a clear visual representation of the organizational structure, helping everyone understand reporting lines and relationships between roles. Now, you have multiple ways on how to create an org chart in Lucid Chart. One of the best ways is to go to your home right now and go, we're going to create from scratch. All right. Now, here, you can simply click on the new button here on the upper left corner. You can either start with a blank canvas or use a pre-designed org chart template. Just click on the create from template if you wanted. Now you would be given multiple ways on how to add shapes for org chart. All right. So now here you see this is going to be the uh, org chart. You can simply click on the preview to, you know, just gauge if this is going to be the template that you wanted to use. This, because the org chart template can help you organize and manage hierarchies within companies, institutions, departments, or, or even your organization. You can visualize the structures and, of course, increase efficiency from within your company or group. Now, you can also go back um, on the old templates. For example, um, this one. If you maybe let's use this template for now. All right. Later, we're going to create a new blank template. Just wait for it because um, Lucid Chart is creating the uh, dashboard for you. All right. Depending on the, uh, make sure you have an active and stable internet connection to make things work. Now you see, this is going to be the template that we have created. And what I'm going to do is, you see. Now here, basically you can edit the name for example this one or no this one that's going to be andy guide for example all right and if you wanted to add more employees just click on the uh, plus button here let's hover down here you can add more people you can drag people here this side and add more as you go along all right so it's up to you whether you wanted to create more profiles here we can do that as well all right now that's one way the other way is let's go back again to the home page if you wanted to create an org chart from scratch maybe from blank document that's going to be a lot better because if you feel like the template is not working for you you might want to start from scratch wherein you have the control and you have the freedom right now here all i'm going to do is go to the flow chart again org chart This is going to be the blank diagram and i'm going to make it something like this one all right so you can basically choose any document here for example this one now i'm going to put in maybe two more copy that and of course we're going to rename this maybe like andy it's going to be guide but you get the idea right Okay, so we're going to put in more information. Maybe like this one, you can customize everything here. Put it um backward, center backward, so that you can. Let me just send it to backward. Send item to backward. That's it. All right. Now you also have an option here. Of course you can put in the organization here you can put in a lot of information now the next option that you wanted that you can explore is if you don't want to create from scratch or the uh, template just go to the shapes and panels again 
um, that this one and you see there's an option that says import data now now go to data and go to org chart you see you can import your data working with quickbooks csv google sheets and of course microsoft excel all right so we have also have an org chart templates but we're going to import data from the google sheets now this, this is basically the file that i'm currently working on the google sheets now for me to be able to import this on lucid chart what i'm going to do is basically click on file and of course make a copy all right or sorry i'm going to make a download download the file i'm going to be using the uh, microsoft excel file okay and then after that i'm going to download that and save it to my directory now again you have two options on importing all right we're going to try importing using the Google Sheets for now and then the Excel file. All right, click on import data and of course choose the type of source you want to import. That's going to be Google Sheets first. Click on next and of course you just have to authenticate the uh, platforms. Now after that just uh, follow the on-screen prompt. Wait for it. And there you go. Now you can basically um, choose the file that you wanted to import here on the lucid chart just wait for it to load obviously make sure you have a stable and active internet connection so that there's going to be no problem of course you can choose the columns that contain employee and supervisor id numbers it's all up to you all right but for now i'm going to leave it as it is and you can also click on by name by id number you can see and you can see and click on next and see what we what we're going to have like you have the name choose column how to create role and of course this one all right so it's all up to you click on next and you can create one org chart for the entire organization or you can create org charts for each you can choose the column all right click on next and that's going to be it all right click on finish there you go now again go to the import data we're going to choose using the uh, Excel file, this one right here, click on next. I'm gonna, and from here, just wait for it to load. Same thing that we did earlier, just select the appropriate columns and would be able to import the file without any problem. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning into Andy's Guides. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest content. I will see you in the next guide.